Rob Evans, Lucid Prop, Pembrokeshire. Rachel Reese asks, what is your favourite flavour of cupcake? Ah, it's a tricky one. They're all they're all nice. Um, if I had to choose, it'd probably be uh, between coffee and walnut and lemon. Both uh, lovely. Daniel Lewis, aged <coughs> nine, asks, who is your favourite team to play against? Um, well, probably this year... Um, Playing against Harlequins and Rass Metro was uh, was quite fun. Um, but then uh, when I was playing for Half the West, uh, I always used to like playing against Crimmick because um, it was quite a bit of rivalry. Uh, what's the best stadium you've ever played at and the country you've most enjoyed touring? And that's from Adrian Davis. Um, good question, Adrian. Um, uh, probably when uh, we played out in South Africa with uh, Wales in the 20s in the semi-final uh, against New Zealand in Newlands in South Africa. That was, um, that was uh, the stadium was awesome and uh, it was full, it was, was 45,000 people there so it's pretty cool. Um, and countries, yeah, South Africa was pretty cool. Um, yeah, South Africa. Uh, Dylan Monkey eighty two on Twitter asks if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Good question, Dylan Monkey. Um, yeah. uh, probably um, Bernard's watch. Uh, I probably, if I could have any superpower, I'd probably have Bernard's watch. Uh, stop time, and everyone else would just stop and probably go over and play some pranks on people and pull their trousers down and stuff. Uh, Carlos John would like to know who would you say you get along with most out of the squad? Um, none of them. Nah, um, get on with most of the boys. Um, well, all of the boys. I haven't really got any favourites. Uh, my least favourite is probably Gareth Davis. Scrum off. Any particular reason why? Um, just probably because he thinks he's funny, but he's not. So. Okay. Uh, number one Foxy fan thirteen on Twitter would like to know what's your favourite pizza topping. Uh, I don't eat pizzas. Uh, nah, um, I quite like meat feast. Um, uh, and then my second choice would probably be Hawaiian. Yeah. What do you think of the new scrummaging rules from KTF one six nine? Um, that's another good question. Um. Yeah, they're different. I um, think we're getting more used to it now. Um, but yeah, I think they think they're good. Like obviously our scrum's been pretty good this year, so um, yeah, good enjoying them. So. Giles Evans, uh, do you feel any added pressure because you're sponsored by Herman Tours, an elite group of Scarlet fans? Yeah, I feel a lot of pressure. They're like uh, it's quite a lot of pressure. Nah, fair play. Um, I know a lot of them are up in uh, Harlequin supporting and uh, they're great, great, great support. So, yeah. Number one Foxy fan has got another question for you. Uh, I play for Halford West RFC. Any tips? It's a good, best club in Wales. Um, well, uh, tips. Um, um, tips. Just keep working hard. Um, and... Mm. Yeah, just keep working hard. Uh, Halford West's um, <laughs> one of their biggest opponents, Crummich. Yeah. Uh, they've asked who's been your toughest opponent. Um, toughest opponent. I used to like playing against Crummich, but I'm not going to give them the credit that they were the toughest opponent. Um, but uh, when I used to play for Kamal and Quinns, uh, Sandovri are quite quite a good opponent, and so a point of Okay, uh, Sanji fans twenty two. If you were stuck on a desert island, what two things would you take? That's a good question, isn't it? Um, probably a TV, and then a uh, long electric cable back to another island, so I could could watch it like. Good. <clears throat> Han tweeted, how many fans do you follow on Twitter? Um, I'm not really sure. 
I'm not sure who's uh, who's fans of me, who I follow, but uh, I try and follow as many as I can, and um, yeah, so try and try and follow as many as I can. One last question from number one Foxy fan. Yeah. Do you speak Welsh? If not, would you like to? Um, tipping back a little bit of Welsh. Um, I did Welsh A S level in school. Um, but like uh, I'd love to learn Welsh and uh, a few of my family speak it. So um, yeah, pit, love to learn it and maybe will in the near future. Sean <coughs> Emmett, what is the first thing you'd do in a zombie apocalypse? What's an apocalypse? Zombies take over. <laughs> what are you uh, going to do? Probably just join them. Uh, just try and act like a zombie as well. So if you could caught me at 7 o'clock in the morning... Uh, I have a good chance, though. Uh, if you could invite three famous people to your house for dinner, who would you choose and why? And that is from Harry29 Burford. These questions are good, aren't they? Um, who would I invite? Um, Beyonce, Nicole Scherzinger, and um, who else? Um, Cheryl Cole. For their singing ability. Yeah, uh, I'm, I like singing and uh, I'm a bit of a sing off. Like, if you could live another person's life for one day, whose would it be and why? And that's from Hannah Davy Five. Um, good question. Um, probably Floyd Mayweather because. Uh, uh, I've seen a few of his documentaries and uh, he looks to be living the dream to day in his life uh, just to see what, what's happening in uh, in Vegas. Like. It's great to see you making more regular appearances with the Scarlets. Is it a big step up from your previous rugby at Kamal and Quinns from James Burge Davis? <coughs> yeah, it is. is uh, that's a good question, James. Um, uh, it is a big step up. Um, uh, there's a lot more to... Uh, learn and um, switch on to and uh, well you can't can't get away with uh, stuff that maybe you could get away with in premiership level so uh, yeah it is a big step up but uh, I'm enjoying it. Sam <coughs> Davey 1993 what was your highlight in South Africa in your free time? Um, that's a good question, Sam. Uh, probably the fruit. The fruit was very nice over there, and uh, it's quite tasty. So, uh, yeah, it's nice fruit over there. And one final question from Lewis John Jones. Are you the one who made the Black Panther story up in Pembrokeshire? Um, nah, that's, a tr that's actually a true story. Uh, I know everyone doesn't believe me, but people in Pembrokeshire will know that uh, there has been sightings of a Black Panther, and... Uh, it's a true story. So, no, I didn't make it up. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, all the best for the weekend. Thank you. And I'm sure your fans will be delighted to hear the answers. Yeah, thank you. Cheers.